Hi, Scott McGee here with another fishing tip brought to you by Boat US Angler. Nothing ruins a trip to the lake more than having a problem on the way. And there's several things you can do to prevent these things from coming up. First thing I want to do when I get to the truck and ready to go is I want to take a walk around, make sure everything's right. First thing we want to check is that you have your coupler latched, you have your safety pin in, you've got your cables or chains hooked and crossed, and you want to check your emergency brake to make sure it's hooked and that the cable has no fraying in it and that your lights are securely attached. While you're here, it's a great time to check and make sure you've got that bow strap hooked and tied tight. Next point we want to check are the tires and wheel bearings. Always check your tire pressure because proper inflation will ensure long life on the tires. Then you want to look at your rims, make sure you don't see any uh, grease leaking out or any uh, fluids coming out of the brake lines. While you're here, it's a good time to look at the tires and make sure that they're wearing evenly because that'll be an early indication of a bearing problem. Now one mistake a lot of people make is they always try and put grease into these fittings. You should never have to add grease to it and just simply once a year or once every other year pull the seals and repack your bearings. Adding grease before it's necessary will blow the seals out and create more problems than it solves. The last spot on my walkthrough that we want to look at is the back end of the boat. We're going to make sure that the transom tie downs are attached and secure, that our motor support is in place and locked down, and this is a great time to have someone with you turn on the lights, check your turn signals and brake lights to ensure that all your lights are working properly. Okay, now that we've checked all the trailer, and our lights, we should be ready for a great day on the water. Don't forget those life vests.